What's up guys, and in this video I will be showing you my favorite vehicles to use on the off-road time trials. Now, there is a good amount of off-road vehicles in the game. Obviously, there are some that are way better than others. So for me, the first one I'm going to choose here is going to be the Vagrant. Now, this car was on the podium recently. I think it was about a month or so ago. It was on the podium. Uh, this car is really fast off-road. It can average uh, well over 100 miles an hour on these trails here. So this car is really good for off-roading, even if you want to just go cruise around in it. And for time trials, this is probably the one vehicle that will be able to easily do the time trials if they're off-road. Especially the ones that are on the mountains too, because this thing can climb decently well. I guess you could call it the second vehicle I would say would be really good for the off-road time trials. It would be the Vapid Trophy Truck. Now I haven't seen this thing mentioned too much around, but this truck can definitely get a lot done. And it's very cheap at $500,000. This truck can pretty much do a good amount. It's quick off-road, obviously not as fast as the Vagrant, but this thing moves and it handles really well and handles bumps very well. This thing is also really fun to drive even if you're not doing a time trial. You can also cruise around this thing as well, but these are two of the vehicles so far that I would use on the off-road time trials. Let's get in to the next one. Here guys, I also wanted to mention this bike. I know a lot of people are probably going to laugh at this, but the Hanakuchi drag bike, obviously it's $976,000. This bike, believe it or not, is actually really good off-road. Yes, it's kind of weird. A lot of people actually use this bike for a lot of the time trials when it requires you go up mountains or go really fast off-road. People do use this bike. Um, it averages around like 90 or so, but maybe a little bit more on off-road. So this thing is obviously pretty quick, and I had to mention this because I knew it was kind of be funny. But this thing as well can do off-road, so if you buy this for the street time trials, there's a good chance you can also complete the off-road ones as well with it. Alright guys, when it comes to first place, I'm going to have to say the BF400 is probably your best bet there. It's only $95,000, and it is actually very fast and handles pretty well. Basically, it can do any of the off-road tracks very well, including the Mount Chiliad time trial. This thing would probably be really good for that. Um, this thing's also really cheap. Um, I know a lot of people might just use the Vagrant if they have it because of how fast that thing is. But if you're looking for a bike to do the jumps and all that, or if you have a crazy off-road trail, I think this thing can hold a wheelie the entire time. And I would definitely put this thing as number one. 